Hello and welcome to Eating Into Apple, the only weekly show specifically about Apple, hosted by a kid who uses the iPhone 7 as his main phone. Today we have breaking news on the discontinuation of the last iPod, the aftermath of that announcement, some iPhone 14 rumors, and much more. Before we begin, please like and subscribe as I upload every Friday. Now, let's get into it. Our first topic of this week is the final iPod, the iPod Touch, has been discontinued. The iPod Touch was last updated in 2019, almost three years ago. The iPod Touch was a gateway for iOS to new users at a low cost. The iPod Touch was introduced in 2007, shortly after the iPhone's first release. And because of this announcement, less than 24 hours after it was said, the iPod Touch has already sold out in some configurations. This is truly an end of an era. Moving on to a less sad note, Apple's been granted a patent that discusses how a device could remove dust or debris by itself. Apple is proposing that the device itself work to remove dust, capturing the particles so they do not interfere with the user's views and or through optical elements. The Apple Glass could possibly shake the dust or debris free and collect them safely out of the wearer's view. If this idea gets added into the Apple Glass, I, a professional glasses wearer, and others will be very happy for this addition as it is something that I have to deal with daily. Our next topic is the supply chain analyst Mink Kuo Ming Chi says that the 2023 iPhone lineup will abandon the Lightning connector and only use USB-C. This has been seen outside of leaks though, as the EU is close to requiring all smartphone manufacturers to adopt USB-C ports, including Apple. While this is a great step for iPhone, what I'm worried about is the amount of Lightning connectors that will be thrown out and trashed that will greatly negatively affect the environment. But of course, people with previous iPhones and other Apple devices that use Lightning ports will still probably keep it, so I don't think we need a solution to that problem until years to come. Another report says Apple is allegedly developing a display panel that uses OLED, but with a thinner alternative to that technology's usual polarized layer, possibly to foldable iPhones and iPads. According to the elect, OLED panels that do not need a polarizing layer have started production. When tech companies polarize the screen, it improves the visibility of the display by limiting light and changing the direction it travels, so it doesn't blur or bleed across the screen. Considering that Samsung has achieved a foldable display, Apple most likely is looking to do the same. According to a study from the IAB and PwC, US podcasting advertising sales are expected to grow to 47% in 2022, which would be around $2 billion. The study also says it could reach to $4 billion in 2024. Apple Podcasts is one of the leading apps in this market, including Spotify and YouTube. In all honesty, this topic just tells me that I should start a podcast, which I think that there should be an audio version of Eating Into Apple. I'm gonna keep hold of that idea. The first Apple store in Japan is set to be demolished this September after almost two decades of use. Apple Giza was originally opened in November 2003. The land under and around the Apple store has sadly risen in price, which most likely is the reason for the closing and demolition of the store. It is sad to see history go, but I understand that if the store wasn't getting enough profit, it wouldn't be smart to keep it on such expensive land. Also, there are still nine other Apple stores in Japan, half of them in Tokyo. Now, our last topic isn't about Apple, but about Netflix. Netflix is reportedly planning on releasing an ad-supported subscription in late 2022, around the same time it has reported to start cracking down on password sharing. Netflix lost almost 200,000 subscribers in quarter one of this year, which is the first loss in over 10 years. They've also said they expect 2 million more lost subscribers in the current quarter. Netflix has been blaming password sharing for the massive subscriber loss, but in my opinion, I think they are bleeding subscribers because they lost a lot of shows that many people subscribed for, such as The Office, Parks and Recreation, and others. I do hope you all enjoyed this week's video, and if you have any questions or comments, just comment them down below and I will respond to them as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Bye!